welcome to the testing world in this session we are going to understand elements in jmeter so moving to my apache jmeter so when we start jmeter we are going to get this test plan which is quite similar to the test suite and workbench test case we are going to create in test plan in jmeter we do not call it test case we call it thread group so first right click on the test plan and select thread group so i'm going to create test case one i just mentioned the name test case one so thread group is quite similar to the test case now all the elements we can add inside this thread group or test case so right click on the thread group add we have different type of elements over here so we have to understand the role of each and every element so first need to understand like thread group thread group behave as a test case we can apply number of threads or we can say number of users on the particular test case inside the thread group or the test case we can have samplers so samplers are used to send requests to the server we have different type of samplers which are supported by jmeter like http sampler ftp sampler jdbc sampler and few more samplers so these are the total samplers that we can use in jmeter so role of the sampler is to send request to the server so i'm moving to my jmeter to add a sampler right click on the thread group add and that is sampler so i'm going to use http request sampler here we can define our url so www dot google dot com first element which i have added inside thread group is sampler the sampler role of the sampler is to send request to the server moving to next element which is logic controller the role of the logic controller is to control the execution flow by default all the elements will be executed in the order in which they are added but if i want to control the order of execution we can go for the logic controller like i am here to add the logic controller right click on my test case or we can say thread group add logic controller so we have different type of logic controller we can see one of the logic controller is the loop controller that will be used if i want to perform some task in loop like i want to perform some task again and again then i can go for the loop controller so i selected the loop controller over here and we can add this request inside the loop controller and we can set it over here like four so i want to execute my http request four time use of the logic controller is to control the flow here we are controlling the flow like this request i want to execute in loop we have gone through two type of elements one is sampler and other is logic controller next is config elements so config elements does not send any request to the server their work is to configure samplers which are going to send request to the server so config elements are not going to send any request to the server we are using config elements to configure the request which is going to the server so before sending any request to the server we can configure it we can make some changes by using config element so config element is here and we have different kind of config elements over here one of the config element is user defined variable so here we can define the variables like i'm adding a variable add i'm giving the variable name is url and giving the url www yahoo.com in user defined type config element we have defined a url and i want to use this url into the request because the use of the config element to make some settings in the request so i have defined the variable over here and i want to use that configuration which we have defined in user defined variable in our sampler so to use any variable dollar curly braces and name of the variable so that is the way by which we can use 
user defined variable which is a config element so we have gone through few basic elements like sampler controller config elements moving to timers so with the help of the timers we can add delay between the two requests so we can add delay in the test case itself or we can add delay in the controller so as of now i'm going to the controller right click on that timer and here we are using constant timer so i want to add a constant delay over here we need to pass the data in milliseconds so i'm passing 10000 milliseconds which is equal to the 10 seconds so in my loop controller now we have two elements one is to send request to the server and other is add delay so with the help of the timers we can add delay in our test cases or we can say thread group moving to preprocessor preprocessor execute before the sampler and it is used to make some changes into the samplers so it is again used for the configuration of my request then what is the difference between the config element and preprocessors in case we want to make configuration in all the requests which we are going to send to the server we are going to use config element but in case when we want to make some changes in a particular request particular sampler we can go for the preprocessor preprocessor are going to be applied on a single sampler same like the preprocessor we have the post processor whatever the response which is coming from the server if you want to validate something on that if you want to fetch data from that we are going to use post processor post processor again is going to work on a single sampler then we have assertions with the help of the assertions we can validate the response which is coming from the server add the assertion we can go over here again assertion can be added at the test case level or thread group level or we can add it to the controller level so i'm adding into the loop controller assertion and we have one assertion which is response assertion so i want that in response i should get yahoo in result as a text so with the help of the assertions we can validate the response which is coming from the server and last is listener so listeners are used to display results so i'm coming here and with the help of the listeners we can display results listeners can be added at test case level or we can add it to the controller level so i'm adding a listener which is view result tree so these are the all element types we are going to learn in next coming sections i'm going to save the small test case that we have created and i'm going to execute it so we need to understand the execution as well so i'm executing it first it will go to the loop controller will send a request then put some delay validate the response and at the end it will display in the result so here because we have set four loops so my loop controller is executing four times and every time it will show my request is pass or failed if it is failed then why it's getting failed so you can see response assertion is failed you are expecting something in the body that you are expecting yahoo in the body but is not coming so that's the reason it's getting failed one time it's getting passed so here it was passed but rest of the three times is getting failed we have to understand the reason of the failure but as of now i'm just running it so here we have seen it executed four times because we have used loop controller for four times we have covered all element type which we can use in jmeter in next section we are going to understand what is the order of execution of these element type like if i place the user defined variable which is a config element at the start so what will be the order like first this config element will execute or rest of the or we can say like if i'm going to put this http request after the listener then what is the order of execution first my result will be generated then my sampler will execute or what will be the order of execution so we are going to understand this in next section thanks for watching this